The reality is we feel offended. We come to this country with an American dream. The Venezuelan mother I spoke with is staying at the shelter behind me in West Englewood. The mother goes on to say living conditions are not ideal for the children. She says we're not in a place where our kids' mental health is prioritized or where they can run around and play. At the same time, the mother adds she feels disconnected. She says we feel isolated from society, our kids need psychological help and need to go to school. She says we're not moms who are here to look for trouble, we're moms who just want a better future for our children. Some of the asylum seekers told me they were moved to the emergency shelter in Red Hook, but came back to the Watson Hotel unsatisfied with the housing at the cruise terminal. It's inhumane. It's inhumane what these people are, are living through. There's only four restrooms available for them, four individual restrooms, and there's no running hot water. This is video shot inside the relief center. Another asylum seeker telling me the sleeping cots are set up too close to each other and that it's too cold out there and we have nowhere to safely put our stuff. The migrants protesting the move instead sleeping on the street. Some of them say the conditions at the Brooklyn cruise ship terminal, which the city set up with a thousand beds for single men are unlivable, with reports from men who were there of only limited bathroom facilities. We cross the street like this for take a shower and come back to this. At District 1, dozens are sharing a bathroom in the lobby and a porta potty outside. We asked if these conditions are better than they were at home. No. In Venezuela, we never lived on the streets. Now we are living on the street, and we need to wait for some help. There is no spare room on the buses. Jose Angel Farias has been living on one for three days. He's worried about the health of his two-year-old daughter. Farias says there are some people on the buses with fevers. He says, we do not have the means for a medical emergency. The buses are super crowded. There is not room for one more person. Residents here point to pasta covered in grease and meatballs still frozen in the middle. They're pushing back today. This mom of two says sometimes the food smells bad, rotten, and every time the children eat the food like that, they get food poisoning. But Mayor Adams implies the migrants are just being picky. People may have a different uh, cultural taste for certain foods. They say May Day, an international workers' rights holiday, is the right time to ask for immigration reform because they make up such a large part of the American economy. We demand uh, Biden, the administration of Biden, the, he listen to the people. He listen uh, uh, he make a reform, immigration reform for the, the people that, that stay here for a long time.